Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. Um, I also hope you guys enjoyed the first and second episodes of our new Let's Play here on the channel. Um, if you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below for more videos to come. Um, in the last episode, it has been a while, um, we got our starter Pokemon and I believe we also um, added a new member to our team. Um, in this episode, we're going to try and get to the professor's research lab and handle all that stuff down there. We'll probably add another person to our team as well. Um, but before we do that, uh, I think we should probably do a uh, quick uh, team recap. It's because it's been like a week, I think, since we've done anything. So we have our score bunny, aka Zakai. Um, with Tackle, Growl, Ember, and Quick Attack. And then we have our, um, Rookity, aka Perlita, with Peck, Leer, and Power Trip. And I remember that, um, I was gonna try and get a better natured one, and then depending on that, whether if it was male or female, was gonna dictate its nickname. Um, so... Hopefully we'll get some more Pokeballs or something in this episode so I can go out and catch more uh, Rookities so I can get a better natured one. Or that's something I can just do off camera so you guys don't have to worry about it at all. Um, so yeah, but with that being said, I guess let's get uh, episode 3 going here. So we'll head out of the uh, Pokemon Center here. Kind of see what's going on. Okay, so we got hop up there. Real quick, I want to see how much. Uh, I was gonna say how much money we have, because it'd be cool to grab this item over here. Broke it all. Cool. Um, it'd be cool to kind of like update our clothes, you know. Um, and get out of whatever we're wearing right now. So I guess let's see how much we have. Okay. Oh, okay. So we do have thirty-one thousand. So we got some cash on us. Um, let's see. Loose top, striped shirt. Um, casual tee. Oh, it's thirty thousand. That is a lot of money. <laughs> Um, I think we're just gonna go with, um, we get a couple of these loose tops, so we'll get the black one, throw that on real quick, red one, uh, this blue one, get the navy blue, uh, probably get this gray. And maybe the tan one, I guess. I don't know. Alright, so what else they got? Ooh, definitely gonna get the white hoodie. I'll throw that on. Black hoodie. Mm. Get the navy one. Regular blue one. Grab this gray one. Let's see. This new trousers. What were we wearing originally? Oh, like ripped jeans. Okay. Yeah, we should probably get some different pants. Throw those on. Mm, let's see. These gray ones. Shoes. Interesting, okay. Oh, backpacks. That one's pretty cool. I think we'll go with that one, put that one on our guy. Buy that one. And get 
the canvas one. Okay. So we're, ba <laughs> we're basically all out of money now. So I didn't um, I didn't get to get the shoes that I wanted. So we'll just have to work with that for now. Um, but I do want to put white hoodie. Let's see. So if I go with that, loose top, that yeah, looks bad. Mm. I guess we'll go with the black top, gray hoodie. Socks. We'll go with yeah. We'll go with that backpack for now. Um, take the hat off because I think it looks I think it looks goofy. But that's just me, I guess. And we don't need gloves. That's kind of ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I think we'll just go with this look for now. And then hopefully we get a little bit more cash, we can change our shoes and maybe some other things. So yeah, we'll rock out with that for now. I know it's a lot of like gray and white, but eh, it works. Mm, let's see, does he want anything? Berries! I've got your fresh picked berries. What do you say, interested in something? Nope, because I don't have any money. <laughs> um, let's see. Brother, he's an amazing trainer just like Leon. Okay. So let's go see what uh, Hop wants up here. Listen, Chappie, I've been thinking. If you're a Pokemon trainer now, you must want to try your hand at the gym challenge, right? Gym challenge? The gym challenge, mate. The annual competition where trainers can battle it out for the right to challenge the champion. But the trick is that you've got to be endorsed if you want to take part. And Lee doesn't seem to think I'm up to snuff. So I'm thinking I ought to talk to the professor and see if she could help me. she help. You've got to take part two. A proper rival is just the thing every trainer needs to keep growing stronger. After all, keeps you motivated, right? The professor's house is way down at the end of Route 2, so let's head there and give our teams the chance to train up a bit along the way. That's all we need. We need to get a little bit stronger. All right. I can, I can rock out with that. Let's see. See who's living here, this uh, old dude. Sonya and Leon used to have a healthy rivalry, but but what? Leon loves Pokemon and loves Pokemon battles. I remember he would always go all out, even on practice matches. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see, does he do anything? Nope. What about this guy? See that house in the distance with the purple roof? That's where the Pokemon Professor lives. Okay. You guys kind of see that off in the top right corner? That's pretty cool. Looks like a mansion, kind of. Let me get a free revive, so that'll come in handy later on. Route 2. Over here, Chappie! Alright, Chappie. It's time we filled our team in our teams a bit. And I'm here to teach you how. You'll need to catch Pokemon if you've got any hope of filling in that Pokedex. Lee, where'd you come from? Only oh, look at you, little chappy. You've already caught someone on your own. Your mom gave you those Pokeballs, did she? I'll give you some more Pokeballs. In return, I'll only ask that you catch plenty of Pokemon. The Pokemon around here seem easy to catch, almost like they're itching to join some trainers' team, wouldn't you say? Sweet, we got 20 Pokeballs, alright. So now we can catch a lot of rookies, a lot of whatever, I can do that all off camera so you guys don't have to worry about it, and I can get you guys all updated on the next video. The, po the Pokemon on your team will get experience points when you catch Pokemon too. And of course, they get experience points from battle, so take on the other trainers you meet along the path to help your Pokemon thrive. 
Your team will keep on changing and growing as you get stronger together, no doubt. But even I don't know exactly how yet. So, show your champion something good, alright? Alright, will do. Alright, I'm gonna catch loads of Pokemon. The professor will be shocked when she sees. I don't think she's really gonna care, but okay. <laughs> Alright, so... Um, ooh! What are you? A wild Zigzagoo. Um, trying to think if I want one or not. I'm gonna actually say no. Um, I will. Um, I'll probably. Yeah, I guess I'll catch it just to get the experience points, but. Um, I don't think I'm gonna add it to our team. Do the Ember there. And we should be able to get it with. Um, Potion for those who died. Okay. Okay. We should be able to get it with this one ball here. One, two, a three. And we got it. Alright. Perfecto. And since I'm not adding it to the party, I'm not going to give it a, a nickname or anything, so. Nope. Alright. Oh, it's that dog! It's that dog that we saw in the uh, second episode, the Emperor. This I will add to the party. Um, so, once I do end up catching it, I'll have to give it uh, a nickname, so we'll do that name generator thing and we'll see what we get. Let's see. Yeah, I could probably do one more ember. That shouldn't kill it. It'll still be fine. Perfect. Ooh, critical hit. And paralysis, dude, come on. Alright. Let's see if we can catch it here. Cross your fingers. <laughs> Let's see. One, two, three. Hey, here we go. We got it. Alright. Get some nice experience there. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright. And we'll give it a nickname here. Um, so, yeah, I'll cut away, find a good nickname, and when I come back, we'll put it into the system and keep on going, right? Alright, so we're back, and the uh, nickname that I found that I liked was Kiva. So, K-E-E-V-A, Kiva. I actually think that's a really good name, especially for a dog Pokemon, it's perfect. Kiva. Ooh. Another rickety, perfect. Let's see if this one's... A little bit better, because then I won't have to do any off-screen work to try and catch one that is better natured. And since we're paralyzed, we're going to be going second. We're going to be slower, so it's a little bit of a bummer there. Ooh, we have to get the burn. Okay. All right, so not bad, not bad. Now the question is, do I want to try and hit it again? I don't think so. So I'm gonna try just throw a Pokeball here and see if we can get it. Two, three. And I believe it was female. So we'll name it Perlita. As we get more experience points. Yes, we'll give it a nickname. Alright, so nickname is Perlita. Perfect. Perlita. 
Alright, let's see here. Cross our fingers that it is good natured. Ah, oh, modest. No. No, no. And that is bad nature for Kiva as well. <laughs> Calm nature is not good for the type of moves. She's more of a physical attacker, so. Having something that lowers your attack stat is not good at all. Ooh, let's see what this is. Nick it! Oh, that's cool. It's a little fox Pokemon. Um, I'll catch it, but I don't think I don't think I'm gonna add it to the party. It is cool though. That does. Okay, I'm about a little over 50%. Throw a Pokeball here. And I think what I'll do is I will make a quick trip back to the Pokemon Center, heal up our Pokemon, box some of these guys, um, just because our party's starting to get a little bit full right now. So. And I'm not going to give it a nickname. Uh, I will try and catch another rookie. Hopefully we get what we're looking for here. I don't think... We won't know for sure because we do have a full party of six right now. So it's going to automatically go to our box at the Pokemon Center. But when we get back there we can look at it real quick and see. Uh, kind of what's going on. Ooh, paralyzed. Come on. Come on, break through. Break through, come on. Alright, there we go. Ember. Go to our bag. Alright. Cross your fingers. Here. Come on, let's get this. And let's be done with it. So we don't have to worry about it anymore. Three. Hmm. Oh, I didn't look what nature. I think it was male. Let's see if it'll tell me here. Yep, we'll give it a nickname. Yeah, it was male. So if you remember in the last episode, the name for our male one was Havel. So H A V E L and oh, we can even check it right now. Actually, Havel. Perfect. Yes, he's adamant natured. That is the best nature you could get for um, any physical attacking Pokemon. So that is perfect. So Havel will join our party, and we will put and do our party. And we will put uh, Perlita in the box. And um, now I don't have to worry about catching anything off camera. We're good to go. Um, so I'll box these other guys here real quick. And we will be able to progress on in our journey. And uh, keep exploring the Gala region. So that's super awesome. By the way, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, I'm pretty excited. I woke up this morning, found out that Eminem dropped his new album for 2020. Um, and it's pretty good. It's not like his best work or anything, but, um, it's decent stuff. So I don't know if you guys have listened to it at all or not. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. I think, um, the song, uh, called Matt is pretty good on there. Um... And I'm gonna, I'm actually a sidetrack here, but I am gonna box uh, Kiva just because her nature is not the greatest. Um, but we do have our good old Score Bunny and our Rookity of L. So we are good to go with those two. Sweet. Alright. So if we can run into another. Um, Yamper, I will be more than happy to catch it, and hopefully that one will be a better natured one than the one we have. 
if we can't find anything else, then I'm just going to keep moving on. Um, so that way we can progress in the game here. Oh, this one's a new Pokemon. What's this one? Choodle. <laughs> um, I, I guess I'll, I'll, I guess I'll add him to the party. Um, that's interesting. He looks like a giant, like um, those like blow pop uh, candies or whatever. It kind of looks like a balloon. He's got like. I like a balloon head. <laughs> um, so let's see here. Go to our bag. And uh, we'll see if we can get him here. One, two, three. Hey, there we go. We got it. And it was female, so. Um, we'll have to look up. Another name here. Chudo. It starts off battles by attacking with its rock hard horn, but as soon as the opponent flinches, this Pokemon bites down and never lets go. Okay. Alright, so I'll go look up a nickname and we'll be right back. Alright, so we're back, and the nickname it gave me was um, Mara. So M A R A. Pretty simple. Mara has been added. So let's uh, look real quick here. See what Mara's stats are like. Okay, perfect. Neutral nature, I can work with that. Awesome. Tackle and water gun. Mara, Havel, and Zakai. Awesome, so our team's coming together. It's pretty cool. I like it. We're looking like good. We're looking like a good squad here. So we'll keep going down and we'll have our first trainer battle, it looks like, up ahead here. With this little uh, kid who looks like he should probably be in school. <laughs> it's common manners for Pokemon trainers to battle when their eyes meet. This is, a, this is a known fact in the Pokemon world. Very true. Youngster Jake. Sends out a scroll bag. Ah, the chipmunk. <laughs> Alright. I'm pretty confident that we're gonna be able to beat him, so. Not too worried. Get him with the ember there. Didn't get the burn, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, go for a quick attack on him here. Ooh, that did a lot of damage, actually. Okay. Pretty good, pretty good. And we'll do one more quick attack to finish him off. Boom. And just like that, we get our first trainer battle win. So there you go. We get some nice experience points. Havel going to level 6. Whenever there's a strong trainer, I always look right at them. Alright. That's good though. At least he's got confidence. He's going to look you right in your eye. That's an important rule of thumb for life. Always look people in their eye. Don't be, don't be afraid of them. Grab this item here. Two potions. All right. I actually think I am going to use one of those on Zakai, just because he is pretty banged up right now. We'll go over here real quick, see if there's anything, and there is. Grab this item, three Pokeballs, alright, here we go. Take that. And we get our next trainer battle. Cute and strong, together in combination. Alright, so I guess that's kind of her philosophy there. Last Lauren. I like her outfit, it's kind of cool. Ah, she has a Choodle too, how about that? There you go. Of course, ours is superior. <laughs> yeah. Although we are definitely a better trainer than she is, so in the end ours will be stronger probably. But right now they're about even. And we should be able to beat her here with either a quick attack and an ember or a tackle. It doesn't really matter, so. But for variety's sake, I will go with a tackle attack. 
Alright. See how much money she gives us, because we need that cash to get those shoes. <laughs> Alright. Get a level. Defeated last Lauren. Are we cute and nothing more? It looks like our strength still has a way to go. Sweet. 500 bucks. I will gladly take your money. And we get another match against a kid who looks like he should be in school. I couldn't beat Hop, but I'm gonna beat you. Dude, if you couldn't beat Hop, how are you gonna beat us? We smoked Hop. This Benjamin kid has no idea. A blip bug? <laughs> Dude, what is that thing? That thing looks ridiculous. And we'll go with the Ember, because that'll be super effective on it. Fire is really strong against bug types. So there you go. Get the knockout on that. Brood to level 6. Alright. Oh, he's got a Nickit too. There you go. He's got that little Fox Pokemon. Score Bunny go for Ember there. Ooh, it's pretty strong actually. We'll try a quick attack, see what that can do. Alright, there we go. I'm surprised the quick attack's that strong. But, hey, I'm not complaining, I'm gonna take it, you know. Lose to wild Pokemon, lose to many trainers. Sorry kid, those are the breaks. Gotta work a little bit harder. And I think there's an item... Is there an item over there? Oh, I thought there was. Okay. Never mind, we'll see what's going on with these three. Look, there's the professor! So you have unraveled all the secrets of the Dynamax phenomenon yet? Oh goodness, no. The whole thing is still full of questions. I'd hoped that my granddaughter would take over my research, but... Who are these two? <laughs> Dear me, I'm sorry, I didn't even notice my guests. My name is Magnolia. Welcome, young trainers. Now come, let's head indoors. It's got a really cool bird cane going there. It's <laughs> uh, kind of funny. Why, Hop, dear, I see Wooloo has made some new friends. And you must be Chappy. I trust you received the Pokedex from Sonia. I'm sure you'll have it complete in no time. True, true. You must already know about the Dynamaxing. You must already know about Dynamaxing, right, Chappy? Professor Magnolia has been doing research into the Dynamax phenomenon for years and years. It, and it takes a proper understanding of the thing if you plan to use Dynamaxing it to the fullest. There you go again, Leon. Always talking about Pokemon. There are other things that are worth knowing about, too, you know. Like how many different types of tea there are. <laughs> tea, okay. Hey, Professor, do us a favor, wouldn't you? Help, help me convince Lee that he should endorse us for the gym challenge. Oh, Leon, why wouldn't you endorse them? Hop and Chappy only just started out as Pokemon trainers. There's still loads they don't know yet. Dairy, I thought your dream was to have everyone in Gala region become strong trainers. Isn't that right? Well, yeah, you're not wrong. That's That goal is precisely the reason I gave them both Pokemon, in fact. <laughs> right then, in that case, how about this? Let's see if the two of you can show me such a brilliant battle that I'm left with no choice but to endorse you. And don't worry, I'll make sure you, both your teams are in good shape before the battle starts. Okay, sounds good to me. Right, I'll be waiting outside, Chappie. <laughs> About to smoke this guy again. <laughs> All right, let's go get this. Uh, let's go get this dub against Hop. Actually, wait. I think there is something. I think there might be. Yeah, there we go. Grab this. Our first TM payback. It's not super helpful, but I mean, it's something, so. I actually think I will 
see if anybody can learn that. Okay, perfect. Teach it to Havel here. Oh, he already knows that move. Alright, and uh, let's teach it to Mara. Mara learn payback. Perfect. Cool, cool. And I also believe that there might be something. Yes. Grab this item back over here. A great ball, there we go. Something a little bit stronger we can use down the road. That'll come in oh, very handy for us. Hurry it up, Chappie. You've gotta battle me so I can get myself that endorsement. Don't worry, I want it too. That's cool. Alright, let's fight. I'm going to become the greatest Pokemon trainer there is. And to do that, I need that endorsement to take part in the gym challenge. Come at me with everything you have so we can prove to me that we've got what it takes. Of course. Why would I not come at you with everything I got? <laughs> I'm rather interested in seeing how you two young trainers battle too. Listen to the reason I'm unbeatable is because I learn from every battle I see or take part in. That's how I've gotten to where I am today. So show me something good in this battle. It's time for my legend to begin. Alright. See what you got, kid. Throws out a woo-woo. We're gonna smoke this guy. <laughs> Have you gotten a bit stronger? Me and my team will put you to the test and see. Alright. I mean we could just sweep them with our with Sakai to be honest, but. Um, that would be a little bit boring for you guys to watch that, so I'll bring in some of the uh, other Pokemon we got on the team here once I beat uh, the Wulu. So. Oh, it's no lower out attack now? Okay. We, we're not worried. We're not worried. We got this. Go for a quick attack. Outspeed you. No problem. No problem. Alright. One Pokemon down. I think he has two more left. Havel getting stronger. Yes, we will definitely teach it um, Cone Claws for sure. So we'll get rid of Power Trip and then Cone Claws. Sends up Groupie. So we will switch. And I'm going to go into Havel because not only is Grass weak to Fire type, moves, it's also weak to flying and ice, and potentially psychic, I believe. Um, so, Havel has Peck, which is a flying move, so that'll be super effective against Beaky. Have a taste of our true power, our green power just keeps it on growing stronger. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Come on, Havel. See what you got. Alright. Pretty good, pretty good. Well, look at you! Seems you really learned your type matchups. What did I tell you? See? And we're not stupid now. We've been playing Pokemon way before you were even programmed. <laughs> We've been playing Pokemon for 20 years at least. So. And we'll finish it up here with uh, one more pack attack. As it tries to hang on by lowering our own attack. Boom! There we go. Got the knockout. So now he's got one Pokemon left, and I don't remember what it is exactly. Because we've seen the Wulu, we've seen the Grookey. Ooh, Marlin Bite. Awesome. Oh, he's got a Rookie. Okay. So I will actually switch here. I'm going to go into Mara so she can get some screen time. It's only fair. And actually, since she learned Bite now, that's a really strong move, uh, especially at this stage in the game. It'll be a close one, but that's exactly my sort of match. Um, so yeah, it's a very strong move this early in the game to have that on a Pokemon, so... We will go with uh, Bite here. Let's see what this does. Okay. So we got pretty good defenses. Our offense isn't too bad. Eh, let's go for a water gun, why not? Change it up a little bit. So things aren't so monotonous. 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 
You know what I mean. <laughs> Go for the water gun there. And we'll do one more bite here. There you go. We got our first win. Well, not our first win, but we got the win against Hop. That's all that matters. So let's see how much cash we can get. Oof. Got it that I lost. But I'd expect nothing less from my rival. 640 bucks, alright. Getting closer to those shoes. And I even got my Pokeball throw perfect too. The sting of defeat and the joy of victory. I guess I'm going through both. I guess going through both is the key to the two of us getting stronger, right? I guess so. Seems logical. Let's see what Leon says. Chappy, hop. Well, after seeing a match like that one, I suppose I have little choice but to give you both an endorsement as champion. Mm, letter of endorsement. A letter of recommendation that you'll need in order to participate in the gym challenge. Yeah. Yes, thanks, Lee. I swear I'm going to win my way through the gym challenge to reach you. You may both be young still, and plenty rough around the edges, but it was a proper battle. Charizard and I were both feeling the excitement in every last cell of our bodies. Pop, you've always tended to get caught up in things, like how you throw your Pokeball out. Things that have nothing to do with real strength. Honestly, I've been worried about you still obsessing over that sort of nonsense, but it seems you really have grown a bit, little brother. And I'd like to see some more thrilling Pokemon battles out of you too, Chappie. Alright, Chappie. You and me are going to train up against one another to aim for that champion's title. Absolutely. The more we keep battling against one another, the more Pokemon will grow. Ah, what's that? Ooh, something's falling out of the sky. Shiny. Ooh. Chappie, would you look at this? They're wishing stars. Since there's two of them, you should take one yourself. Okay. A stone found in the Gala region with a mysterious power that said that your dreams come true if you find one. With one of these, my Pokemon can Dynamax. They're gonna be massive, yes! Okay, cool. Tr trust trust you to pull something like this. They say wishing stars fall down for those who have a true wish in their hearts, you know. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. I will be the greatest trainer ever. There, I've said it three times, so surely my wish will come true now, right? Don't be silly, Hop. Those wishing stars are composed of a curious sort of rock containing unknown power. There are one they are one of the most precious resources we have here in the Gala region, but they don't do a thing for you in that state. Give them to me now, and I'll have and I'll have you sorted. Oh, right. You've done heaps of research on Dynamaxing phenomenon, haven't you, Professor? Then please, give Chappie and me the power to Dynamax our Pokémon. First we've got to battle against that mad Pokémon in the slumbering world, and now this. It really feels like we're getting caught up in the adventure of a lifetime. I do understand your excitement, young man. But don't get carried away. You want to save your energy for tomorrow's journey. Hmm. <laughs> oh, Sonya's back. Seems I came at seems I came back home right in time for all the excitement. Hey, you lot. Why not have some dinner? You must be hungry, right? I've been totally obsessed with making the latest trendy curries. Sweet food time. Who doesn't love a little snack? It's morning at last, and time for our adventure to truly start. Good morning, you two young challengers. Pop, is it true you really met some Pokemon you didn't recognize? Is there anything more you can tell me about it? Uh, well, there was this weird heavy fog, and then this even weirder Pokemon appeared. Chappie tried to fight it off, but then I think we both passed out or something. It's all pretty crazy. Ah, right. A right font of information you are. 
Chappy, Hop, these are for you. It's hard, mate, trying to keep the voices going, and Sonya's always changes. It's, it's tricky when you gotta juggle three to four different voices at once. But, we'll do what we can. Sweet, so now we got, uh, we got the Power Ranger band thing so we can morph our Pokemon. <laughs> These are your Dynamax bands. I made them by fitting the wishing stars you found last night into those bands. Thanks, Professor. This is brilliant. It's just like the one Lee has on him, too. Now we can Dynamax our Pokemon like he does. My word, you don't waste any time, do you? I think you'll find it's not so simple as all that. There are a clear number of conditions you must meet if you hope to have your Pokemon Dynamax and take on that gigantic form. Now, don't be afraid to go to all sorts of places and meet all sorts of Pokemon. That will help fill out your Pokedex, too. The Legend of My Reign is finally about to begin. Come on, Chappy. I'll beat you to the station. Uh, train station. I think that's what he's talking about. Back in, uh, Wedgehurst, I think? What does this guy say? Do what plants would want instead of what you want. If you keep that in mind, plants will grow. Okay. Crazy old dude there giving us some, uh, plant advice. Figure since we're here, we might as well check out her house real quick. Interesting. Hair dryer there. Alright, nothing really going on. Um, so yeah, I guess what I will do is wrap up today's episode here. Um, in the next episode, we will go meet Hop back at the station, and actually, I wonder... Well, I was going to say maybe we can get those shoes finally, but um, I'm not entirely sure. So, um, I will save our progress thus far. Ta-da! Perfect. Alright, and with that, um, I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one.